thanks for joining me today. Today's project is going to be a kind of a, an altered art wine bottle. And the first step is going to be to coat it with gesso. And this is just a bottle of wine I had left over. This is my favorite, um, favorite wine of, of all. It's called Bow, and the uh, the winery is called Messina Hoff, and it's it's a Texas winery. And yeah, this is just really my favorite wine. It's kind of a sweet red. And all in all, it took three coats over the glass, and then one more coat over the the labels just to hide the labels and then another coat over the the items that I glued onto the bottle didn't quite work out the way I had envisioned it but you know that's kind of the way it goes especially with mixed media is you just kind of make the best with what you end up with. Originally I was not okay with the stickers not lying flat but I learned to be okay with it and it actually turned out I think a little more interesting with little bits and pieces sticking out in different places. <music> Butterfly chipboard pieces are just from Michaels. They're not from the bargain bins, but they're they're from kind of where you find all the Tim Holtz um, alterations pieces. And you can usually, if you catch them on clearance, you can get like a nine pack of them for 49 cents. Of course, if you don't catch them on clearance, then you get like nine of them for two bucks. So that's still a pretty good deal. This was a lot easier to do in my head than it ended up being in, in actuality. It, it was much more of a challenge to get that stencil to lay anywhere close to flat on the bottle. One of the advantages of the mixed media mat that I'm using on my Tim Holtz glass mat is that you can take it off and stick it in the sink and just run it under hot water to clean it up, which is really, really nice because you can't do that with, you can't just like pick up your countertop and run it under the sink. Now, if I had been thinking, I probably would have put my splat box underneath just to absorb some of that, some of that runoff from the spray. But you know, I was just, just too eager to jump, jump in and start playing with my sprays. And when you're adding the gesso, don't worry about making it a smooth coat. The, the more grooves and rough spots that you have in the gesso, the more interesting the piece is going to be. If I had it to do over again, I probably would add some black acrylic paint, maybe watered down black acrylic paint, just so that I would have some kind of a black base that doesn't run when exposed to other water-based paints. Mm -hmm. 
about opal magics is that if you paint them on over a surface that's white and black or marbled the paint is going to change color from being on top of a white surface versus being on top of a darker surface The main butterfly on on this wine bottle is actually a a broken keychain. This I had this keychain. I, I really liked this keychain. It had this beautiful butterfly on it. And one day it just broke off and I didn't want to part with it. And I thought, you know, one day I'm gonna be able to make some kind of artwork with this butterfly. And that's that's what I did here. I made these flowers from the ta the small tattered florals die set by Tim Holtz. One day I just grabbed some of my scrap blue papers and my my Spellbinders Platinum 6 and the die set and sat in front of the TV and just made flowers. It was a great way to use up my scraps and make some interesting embellishment. <music> And I'm just using these gemstones for the center on some of the, the flowers that have the, the larger centerpiece. And for the other flowers, I'm going to use um, Nouveau Drops. It's the Nouveau Crystal Drops Gloss in Dandelion. And after I added the Dandelion Drops, I thought, you know, I it could really use some enamel drops in a couple of other places. As opposed to adding like uh, glue, like gluing on pearls or something like that, which aren't going to lay flat on a curved surface or flush against a curved surface, but the enamel drops will sit right on top of the gesso. <music> I finished it off rubbing some bronze wax from Artsy uh, over the finished product after it had dried. Thank you so much. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this or about scrapbooking or planning, then hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to know more about this project, check out the link in the description box below. Bye. Mm -hmm.